What, what did you get out of today that you wanted? What, what was maybe left out there that you didn't get? Well, I mean, I think there's a lot we're going to learn. There's no question about it. I look at um, the totality of the spring and what we what we learned about our team and what we learned about each individual player. So, again, I look at, you know, the big picture and take away what we need to take away and kind of plot a course now for the next five months. Very grateful that we got out of it healthy and uh, that we'll be able to take the next phase you know, in good shape and move everybody towards the season. The one position where you don't really seem to have a whole lot of questions is quarterback, but that being said, Malik seemed to come in and, and play really well for you. No, Malik had, Malik's had a good spring. Uh, he's balanced both really well. He's been mature. Um, he's made a lot of progress. And, and uh, you know, there's, uh, you know, some other things that we can do that benefit him and, and his style. And, and uh, you know, that's something that we're not getting into, in, in, you know, in this uh, arena here today. But I think... Uh, he, he did a lot of good things and made a lot of progress. And it seemed too like, I mean, stop, you know, Michael trying 60 yarders and things like that. It seemed like you opened it up and wanted the kids to have a little bit of fun with it too. No, I think they had fun. I think they competed. It was it was physical. Um, again, you know, we'll clean up the mistakes and interceptions and things like that. But again, I thought we were breaking on the ball well. I thought we made some good plays. So for everything we do wrong, you know, we're, we're on the other side doing something right. So again, I think we learned a lot about our team and uh, we'll just take a deep breath and evaluate everything on Monday and, and go from there. Can you talk about Brad's play today? Yeah, you know, again, it's uh, nobody wants picks. So at the end of the day, I think uh, he'll learn from from whatever he needs to learn. And, and uh, once we get into training camp, we'll settle into the, the unit that will be out here with him all the time, and then we'll go from there. Jimmy Grace, yeah, it seemed like he was really affected the play. Um, just talk about this game. Too. I think he played hard. I think a lot of guys played hard. I thought we ran to the ball well on defense. I thought we were physical. Um, I don't imagine you know we gave up many rushing yards. So um, I think. Uh, you know, that's good. It's good to see Jermaine uh, do that. And, and uh, I thought a lot of those guys, you know, played hard on defense. They were both, both deflected both balls. Tyreek looked like they were you know, walking around pretty well. Yeah, and we'll be all right. With them. No, I think we'll be all right there. And and, uh, and anybody else, you know, I mean, there's a there's a number of other guys that will that will get back here over the next couple of months, you know. And, and so that hurt to Lou and Jenkins and, and uh, obviously Tracy and uh, guys like that. So from that standpoint, it's uh, it's exciting. You know, I'm just really grateful, and uh, we're we're thankful that you know we stayed healthy. Both balls were deflected, but at the same time, Jamal Carter was in the right right, yeah. right position to make make no, plays. No, you know what? You're exactly right. I mean, he was in the right uh, place. He saw the ball thrown, so he was able to uh, break on it, even though it was deflected. So, again, good progress out of that safety group this spring. Uh, Jamal and in, in, uh, in Dallas and, and uh, those guys are competing like crazy, and, and Dion and Jaquan. So. It's going to be uh, it's going to be interesting when Jenks gets back. A lot of veterans coming back, you know, a lot of guys being tested for the first time. Any sense? Any nerves today among, among the guys? Today? Yeah, I mean, you know it. You could see it. Uh, um, there's some guys, uh, you know, that you know felt really comfortable, and there's some other guys that had to go through this. So I'm glad that we did it now. And uh, again, we'll we'll evaluate and go from there, Matt. But I, I think it's 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 great to come in this environment and and uh, go out there and, and have to perform. And, I think they'll learn a lot about themselves and grow a lot over the next five months. Some of the newer guys, like a Charles Perry, getting his going through his first spring. Yep. What, how has he advanced? Yeah, just to echo what Matt just said, I think you know he's going to learn a lot from this. And uh, again, it, it's a lot for him uh, to digest. So now he gets a chance to do that, uh, kind of reflect on it, uh, learn it again over the summer, and then learn it again in uh, in preseason camp. But uh, Charles is uh, doing a good job. We just got to keep pushing. McDermott seemed to be moving. There today. Um, can you elaborate? Yeah, on just that? an internal uh, matter, just a, a team rule deal. So. Did, uh, did he have? I was told he just had a baby. Is that right? I'm not commenting on anybody's personal life, Susan. You know that. I'm not doing that. McDermott seemed like he was moving pretty well. Al, I know. I, I know you guys were a little bit cautious with him and all, but how? I mean, is he on schedule, ahead of schedule, as far as just getting to where? Oh, he's he doing. He's doing really well. Uh, he's, uh, you know, he's getting in condition now. I think that's the last thing that's going to come in terms of his core strength and conditioning. And uh, again, I, I thought he really competed down the stretch, um, you know, the, the, the Tuesday and Thursday practice, and then uh, again here today, so which was good. At running back, you guys sort of have, you know, with uh, your group and you guys have sort of a clear cut, like number one with Gus. Or no, I think, I think Gus, and, I think Gus and, and uh, Joe are, are, uh, are, are fighting, and, and uh, obviously uh, Treyon, uh, Got to keep battling, and uh, Walter will play one back and fullback for us, and then uh, uh, Mark Walton coming in. So, um, you know, all that will be in place, you know, by the third week in May, and, and those guys are going to have to compete and fight it out. And if you're receiving for uh, who impressed you today? Oh, you know, I don't know. I mean, uh, Malcolm's had a good camp. You know, there's no question about it. I think uh, Malcolm's had a good camp. Uh, again, I just, 
you know, for me, uh, you know, there's a lot of things that we do for 14 practices that we don't do out here today. So I just look at, you know, whether the, the guys progressed and got better. I know Malcolm did, Brax did. Other Herb, the last two practices were really good. Um, you know, Stacy. so uh, Rashawn Scott had a good spring. So, again, I'm just I'm excited about that group and, and see where it goes. Uh, the good news about finishing on, on uh, March 28th is they got a good five months now to get where they need to get to, which is great. Uh, just excited for them, you know, those guys have been working their tails off, putting a lot of time in, making a lot of sacrifices, and uh, I know they're going to knock it out on Wednesday. Uh, great, great group of guys, and I think they're going to... I think they're going to attack it. I know you can see kind of the mindset. Uh, they're doing a lot of things together. A lot of the older guys that are already in the NFL are helping them through that process. And I, I sense a calmness. I sense a confidence. And I really think they're going to attack it.